Hey guys, it's Adrian over BHA here bringing you an updated video. So I did a video a while back on how to set up uh, Home Assistant alerts with Alexa or an Amazon Echo. Now this was a pretty cool feature that I know a lot of people, including myself, have been wanting for a long time, but it was kind of hard to set up and it seemed like every time we updated Home Assistant, you had to go through and set it back up again. It was really a pain more than anything else. But with Keaton Taylor's custom component for Alexa, the Alexa Media Player, it not only covers the idea of having Alexa as a media player, but it also allows you to use that media player for text-to-speech alerts. So really taking care of both things all in one component. That makes this thing awesome. So let's check it out. All right, so it's still uh, in the custom component phase. So uh, obviously still doing some testing. Not all the kinks have been worked out yet, but I've been testing it and playing around with it for a little bit, and I think it works great. Uh, so hopefully it'll be implemented into production very soon. In the meantime, we're going to go over how to set this thing up as it stands right now and give you guys a chance to try it out on your own. So let's do a quick run through of everything we're going to cover in this video. So of course, for starters, uh, we'll create our uh, custom components folder if you don't already have one set up. Uh, once you have that ready to go, then we will download the Python files needed uh, for this uh, custom component to work from GitHub. Once we have those downloaded, uh, we will add the configuration into Home Assistant. Once we have that added and restarted Home Assistant, then we will go ahead and add the media player to the web front end. And then lastly, uh, we are going to test out the notify component uh, of this as well, just to kind of show you how you can set up the text-to-speech alerts and everything like that. So let's get started. All right, so uh, there's not a whole lot of uh, installation and configuration that will be done for this, um, but there is a little bit, and of course, I'll have links to everything in the description below. Uh, but for starters, we're really going to just uh, set up our custom components directory. So if you don't already have one, you can create a folder inside your Home Assistant configuration directory. So as you can see here, I already have my custom components directory, so I'm going to move in there. So once you've download or once you've created your custom components directory, uh, we'll move on to the next step. So now we're ready to download our Python files from the uh, GitHub page. And of course, I'll have the link in the description below. We're going to do a sudo git clone https colon slash slash github.com slash Keaton Taylor slash Alexa underscore media underscore player dot git. Give that a second to download. And that should create a directory called Alexa Media Player, as you see here. So we're gonna move into that directory. And really all we need is the Alexa underscore media folder. So I'm gonna move that up one level. So we'll do a sudo move Alexa underscore media dot dot, because we're just gonna move it up one directory. Once we do that, of course, we'll have both of those folders in there, the Alexa media, and the Alexa media player directory. Uh, so uh, because we don't need both the directories, we are just going to uh, delete the Alexa media player directory now because we've already got everything we need out of that. So we'll do a, uh, a sudo rm-dr Alexa media player. So now all we have is just the regular Alexa media directory. If we do a CD into that directory and do uh, and show what all's in there, you can see it has all the Python files. So everything is there. We are ready to move on to the next step. All 
All right, so now we are ready to add uh, the new component into Home Assistant's configuration. So we'll do a sudo vi configuration.yaml. We're going to find us an open spot down here somewhere. So the name of this component is Alexa underscore media. Let's see, next is accounts. So we're gonna have to put in our uh, email address and password for our uh, Amazon account. I have everything of course stored in my secrets.yaml file. So for email, it's just gonna be exclamation secret and then Alexa underscore email and password of course we'll say uh, exclamation secret and then it'll be Alexa underscore password. And the URL is the URL that you use with your Amazon account. So mine is just the regular Amazon.com. Once you have all that in there, we can go ahead and save that. Then we just need to uh, restart Home Assistant for the changes to take effect. Give that a second to come back up. So uh, as a side note, if you're running Has.io, as you can see here in this little blurb from the uh, GitHub page, you will need to restart Home Assistant two times uh, for this to work with Has.io. As it says here, the first time kind of gets the uh, custom component configured, and then the second time will pull in all of the devices. So just uh, make note of that if you're running Has.io, it will be two times uh, restarting it in order for it to work properly. Once that's done, we are ready to move on to the next step. All right, so in the web front end, uh, we should be able to do a configure UI on the Loveless interface here. And then we can select that media player that we want to add. So uh, let's find my living room echo here. There it is. Go ahead and hit save on that. And as you can see, it comes up uh, just as a regular media player, just like any other media player in Home Assistant. So pretty cool. And of course, if you click on it, you can see all the various sources. These are basically all the different devices that are um, configured uh, probably uh, via Bluetooth. So pretty cool. Lastly, let's test out the Notify component. So there is no additional configuration needed to set up the Notify component. All right, so to test out the Notify component, we're gonna create just a little test script. So I'm gonna edit my uh, test scripts.yaml file here and find us an open spot. I'm going to call it test underscore echo underscore notify. give it a name uh, for alias. I'm just gonna say echo notify test. All right, now for the service that we're calling here, it's just gonna be notify.alexa underscore media. And then under data target, we're gonna set that to uh, the, the media player echo that we have set up. So mine is media underscore player dot living underscore room underscore echo. And I want the type to be announce. And then for the message, I'm just gonna have it say, this is a test. Once I have all that in there, I'm go ahead and save it. And I'm gonna do a reload scripts so that it will pull in the new script that we just created.
And then we're going to jump over here and add in the new test script. So I already got some scripts here on my test page. So we're just going to say, let's see, echo notify test. There it is. As you can see here, I'm going to pull in my uh, video for my echo dot. We're going to test this script out. So we'll hit that. And... This is a test. There she goes. She says, this is a test. We'll do it one more time. Got the little beep in the front as this it is makes a this test. little announcement. And then it says, this is a test. Very cool. That's it, guys. This thing is set up and ready to go. And... Uh, no further configuration needed. Like I said, very easy to set up. Don't have to mess with any kind of cookies or anything like that to get this thing working properly. It handles everything. That's the end of the video, guys. For starters, we created our custom components directory. Uh, once we did that, we downloaded the Python files needed from the GitHub page. Once we had those downloaded and in the right place, then we added the configuration into Home Assistant. Once that was added and restarted, then we, of course, added the media player to the web front end. And then lastly, we kind of just tested out the notify component and showed you how that worked. That's the end of the video, guys. If you liked the video, please subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions or comments, hit me up in the comments below. As always, if there are any videos out there that you would like to see that I don't already have out there, let me know in the comments as well, and I will see if I can't get something put together for you guys. Otherwise, I'll see you guys around. Thanks.